There are many mysteries in the universe, even in the skies closer to home. One question that has occupied scientists for decades is how the moon was formed. The dominant theory has been that some 4.5 billion years ago, the moon formed from the dust and debris left after an explosive collision between the Earth and a Mars-sized body called Theia. But many scientists have raised doubts about the hypothesis because of the similarities of the chemical composition of the Moon and the Earth. Studies suggest that because Theia came from elsewhere in the solar system, the Moon's makeup should be very different from that of the Earth. Three studies published this week are now providing plausible explanations for that discrepancy. Scientists in Israel and France, using data from simulations of the solar system, found that 20 to 40 percent of collisions during later stage planet formations happened between astronomical bodies that were formed at similar distances from the Sun and therefore had a similar makeup. That suggests that the impact planet Theia might in fact have been made of strikingly similar stuff to the Earth. Previous research shows that after the main impact between the Earth and Theia, both the Earth and the Moon gathered additional matter from smaller protoplanets that continued to bombard them. Because the Earth is much larger than the Moon and has a stronger gravitational pull, the theory is it should have collected more of this debris and dust, which in turn would have shifted the composition of the Earth away from that of the Moon. Now two teams of researchers from the US and Germany have for the first time found support for that shift. They compared the amount of the chemical element tungsten, in particular the isotope tungsten 182, in rocks from the Moon and the Earth and found that the Moon rocks had slightly more of the isotope. The scientists believe that shows that while the Earth and Moon started with exactly the same chemical composition, the Earth later added new and different material to its mantle. All three studies bolster the dominant theory about the Moon's creation and bring new insights about the close relationship between the Earth and its Moon.